Looks just like the one on the last floor. There's even a big old door in the same spot where the number nine door is in the other warehouse. <sighs> no lever to open it anyway, that I can see. Duh. How much do you think that thing weighs? You'd have about as much luck trying to lift a pickup truck, even if it was unlocked. I want to know what those are. Those white doors? Hmm, yeah, seems like it. I mean, look at this. It's one of those things that says lock. Yeah, just like the ones next to the other chromatic doors. Yeah, they were different colors before, but... Guess things have changed for this round. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. One of the other teams opened the gate early. What in the hell they do that for? We haven't even started back yet. Ah, never mind why. We just need to get back up there pronto. I'm worried about Quark. We need to hook up with Alice and Kay. The sooner the better. Let's go! Where's Quark? We took him to the infirmary. At the moment, Alice, Fi, and Luna are looking after him. Is he alright? I don't know if I would describe him as alright, but apparently his condition has not worsened, if that's what you mean. He is still resting. However, we... Good. I'm going to the infirmary. Ah, uh, Tenmyoji, please, wait! Oh dear. He's gone. There was something I needed to tell him. Well, it's not like it matters. The girls will just tell him when he gets there. He ought to calm down once he's seen the kid. What are they going to tell him? Well, you see... You found virus medicine in the laboratory? Yes. Unfortunately, we found only a single vial. So it would seem. Right behind. 
find you. He should be fine now. It might take some time for him to recover fully, but the worst is over. Is... is he really going to be okay? Yes. We analyzed the vial and confirmed that it was definitely Excelivir. Now that I've administered it... The Excelivir should eradicate the virus completely given enough time, right? Yes, that should be the case. <sighs> Thank goodness. Yeah, what a relief. Things are looking pretty sketchy there for a while, that's for sure. Ooh. Alice, you and Kay, I... I don't know what to say other than thanks. You saved his life. I don't know the words to tell you how much that means to me. Oh, please. It was nothing, really. We just happened to be the ones who went through the red door. Where is Kay? He's not in here. He's still in the warehouse. Dio and Kay stayed behind. They went there to wait for you guys while we came back here. We figured someone should explain what was going on so you wouldn't come back to an empty warehouse. <laughs> Not both of them. There was only one door open. Well, we should get back and tell them how Quark's doing. Kay will want to know at least. That's right! You know that memory card we found? Yeah. I think I know how we can take a look at what's on it. What? You don't remember? There was a memory card just like it that we used to solve the puzzles in here. Yeah. He's right. There's a slot next to the screen. It should work for this one, too. Yeah, I want to see what's on it. Is there an audio file on here? Why don't we turn up the volume a bit? This is Control. How's it going over there? Bet you missed the sound of my voice, huh? Well, I gotta be honest. It's getting pretty lonely over here, too. Feeling kind of like howling at the moon, lone wolf style. 
Speaking of which, I'm looking at it right now. The old girl is beautiful. Never seen a moon this full. And that color. Tonight's that eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? The moon's this amazing red. If it wasn't so beautiful, it'd be kind of ominous. Wish you guys could see it too, but... Ah, sorry, forgot. You're supposed to be on Mars, aren't you? So, uh, how are Phobos and Deimos looking right now? Sure hope I'll get to look up at them someday, too. Anyway, over. Hey, something wrong? Talk to me, guys. What, you gonna play hard to get because we haven't talked in so long? Enough jokes, all right? Knock it off. Where are you guys? Is there something wrong with the radio? You're saying everything's green? Well then, what the hell's going on here? Why aren't they responding? No, the video feed's online. Look, you can see all nine of them, three at each table. What? Someone hacked our feed? What do you mean, this isn't live? An old clip on repeat? Who would do that? What in the hell is happening here? This is control. I repeat, this is control. Please come in. I'm asking you to respond. This is... Oh, thank God. You really had me worried there. What happened? Six of us are... dead. What? Counting myself, there are only three left. How... why are... They were killed. What? I... I guess you could say I killed them. No. No, that's not quite right. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Soon, I will have killed six billion people. Are you there? Respond! Damn it. This is control. I repeat, this is control. We have an emergency situation. We have an unconfirmed report of six deceased test subjects. Deploy rescue and escort teams to the test site immediately. Shit. What the hell happened in there? Yes. What on earth was that? Do you know something, Tenmyoji? Yeah, I think I know what that was. It's probably a transmission from the Mars mission test site. Mars? I'm sorry, what? You mean some kind of space travel? What kind of test site was it? Hmm. Did you know that the government is developing spaceships with particle annihilation engines? These ships would be able to get humans to Mars a lot faster than old chemical rockets. But they don't want to just send a manned Mars mission off half-cocked. That was the idea behind this test. They built a whole complex on this old Air Force base in Nevada. The idea was that it would be a simulation of a manned mission to Mars with a crew of nine men and women. They'd monitor the whole thing and use that data to plan the real mission. Yeah. Why is something like that here? Don't know why. We found it in the safe. No explanation. Dollars to donuts, it's got something to do with Zero's plan. You mean we were meant to hear what was on that card? Yeah. That's all very interesting, but how exactly do you know about all this? Oh, about the simulated Mars mission? Yes. I was involved with the project. Now, the intent was to create as accurate a simulation as possible. That meant we'd need to simulate the radio silence we'd experience during conjunction. What's a conjunction? It means two things in space are close to each other, 
In this case, we're talking about a superior conjunction, where Mars and Earth are on the exact opposite sides of the Sun. So unless we've got some sort of relay, there'll be a period of time where we won't be able to communicate with each other. What we heard on that card was when the simulated conjunction was scheduled to end. That's when they died. No, we don't know that. They could have died long before that conversation. All we know is that's when it was discovered. So six of the test subjects died, right? Yeah. Just what the hell happened there? The truth is that there's a chance a virus escaped from the test site. A virus? Wait, you don't mean... Yeah, Radical Six. What? How can that be? I'm just telling you what I know, okay? Nobody's sure how Radical Six got in there in the first place, but... One of the subjects might have been infected when they entered. Or the virus itself might have been an intentional part of the simulation. The test site deaths became the index case for a pandemic. Anyway, prevailing wisdom says it got out somehow, and once it was out, it spread pretty quick. All across the planet. And it killed six billion people? No, not directly. Best numbers put only a third or so of those deaths as directly caused by Radical Six. The other four billion died from the collapse caused by the deaths of that first third. The whole world just fell apart. Too. Christmas Day. I was kidnapped on Christmas, too. Clover and I were taken three days earlier, on the 22nd. Yeah. You see... Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. We're out of time. We need to go back to the warehouse. Don't care. I need more than ten minutes to explain everything. Half-assing it is just gonna make you more confused. Now get moving! That's enough! Shut your damn hole or I'm picking Betray! Uh, hey, come on now! <sighs> Fine. Do what you want, but I need to get back to the AB rooms. I'd like to stay with Quark, but he seems to be doing all right. I'll stay here with him. Fi can do the voting for our pair. I can trust her. Is that all right with you? Yeah, sure. Well, if you'd be willing to do that, I'd be much obliged. Thanks, Luna. Take good care of him. Of course. I'll make sure everything goes fine.
Yes. We'll just have to wait to hear the rest of what he has to say later. I'd rather just get it all out in the open now, but there's not much we can do. Let's get going, then. He has gone into his A.B. room. Already? Indeed. Then he opened the first A.B. gate, right? Of course. <sighs> this is bad. I won't be able to talk with him. This is going to limit my choices. You've only got one B.P. left, don't you? Yeah. Luna's the same. If Vi chooses ally and Dio picks betray... Phi and Luna will be penalized. Uh, I don't have a choice. I'll have to pick Betray. The risk with Ally is just too high. That's right. But Kay and I will be playing against Quark. And he'll just default to Ally. I guess you don't need to worry about getting penalized then, huh? You needn't worry. That will not happen. Even though, as you have told me, Quark is recovering, he is still weak. Moreover, he is only a child. To betray an innocent child would be... Yeah, that would be unthinkable. Even if you ignore his age or condition, it's hardly fair to take advantage of someone who can't vote. Yes. Of course. Well then, shall we go? Yes. Do you remember what you said to me when you chose the blue door? Something about how you'd convince me to choose Ally? Seems like now would be the time to let me know how you're going to convince me. Hmm. I see. And you figure I'll believe you because you've only got one BP. Once you've told me that you plan to ally, I won't be able to choose Betray. Since, if you're telling the truth... Mm, not a bad plan, but it assumes that I've taken killing you off the table. Seems like a risky bet for you. And why is that? Well, what if Clover tries to seduce you to get what she wants? Huh? Well, that's just an example. What I'm trying to say is that once you two are in that room, Clover might try and make some sort of bargain with you. I'm asking what you're going to do if that happens. Are you sure you'll still choose Ally? Hey! What are you staring at, you perv? There's no way on earth I'd do anything like that! Ugh! As if! In your dreams, creep! Hmm. So I can trust you. 
You're gonna choose Ally. You can trust us. Promise. We promise. All right. I guess I'll vote Ally too then. Three minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. Well, looks like we don't have much time left. I'm trusting you. Yeah. Sigma, I wanted to ask you something. Could you pick Betray for me? I mean, I could try and, like, tackle you. But you're so big and strong, you'd probably just throw me on the ground and that'd be it. So I thought I might as well just ask you really nicely. Oh, I mean... I'd be happy to, um, pay you back. If you just pick Betray for me, then I'll listen to anything you say. <laughs> yep, anything. So think carefully, okay? If you choose Ally, you're trusting him with your life. <laughs> sure you can trust that old fart? <laughs> the only safe choice is to pick Betray. <laughs> then I'll have 9 BP. But you don't need to worry about that. Even if I do get 9 BP, I won't just go and open the number 9 door all by myself. I mean, Alice wouldn't have nine points yet. And I can't leave her behind. Please? Will you pick Betray? 20 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Just pick Betray for me, then I'll listen to anything you say. Three, two, one. 